All right, I know I'm super late on this. I actually finished watching this video weeks ago, but I just didn't want to talk about it. But honestly, what else is there to talk about? Like, off there, all these allegations, all this stuff. Can you just blame me for being tired of just talking about it and just kind of thinking about it? Now, my thoughts are the video was really done. I still, I still like the second video more. I think the second video was harder hitting, but the third video was kind of cool too. Uh, Carter Quartz uh, really knows what she's talking about. I even went out of my way to look at some of these um, reports and stuff, and I read them. Um, one of my favorite things that Carter Quartz says is that <laughs> it sounds like they're like all written by the same person, in which they are. They, they really do feel like that they're written by the same person. Like they use like these same words. I didn't even notice it until Carter Quartz poured it out. I was like, yeah, these, these do kind of sound the same. And then I just kind of went out of my way online, read this stuff, and I was like, yeah. It kind of sounds like they all had like the same ghostwriter or something. And it's just crazy. Now, what is my opinion on all this? I'll tell you my opinion. So, honestly, do I think Marilyn Manson abused these girls? Do I think that he did all this stuff? From a certain angle, I actually do. Now, let me explain. Before all you Marilyn Manson fans get angry at me again. I do think if you looked at it from a different perspective, it can look like abuse. But at the same time, I feel like that they're exaggerating what happened. I do feel like some of this happened. I do feel like Marilyn Manson gave them drugs, cocaine, took them to parties, flew them out. But um, for these women, I do think they're exaggerating. They're like, oh, I was, I was sent across the country <clears throat> for sex. Uh, he, he fed me drugs that made me stay up all night. Which, first of all, if you're doing cocaine, let's be honest, you're not going to be sleeping. If you do a lot of cocaine, you're going to be up for the next two days. So let's just get that right out the way. No one does cocaine and just goes to sleep. I, I think I already said this, but it's true. And plus, if you're working Maryland Mansion, you're going to be flying places and all that stuff. So I really don't think that's all trafficking. So... I do think there is some truth in these statements, but I just think they just exaggerated and just kind of made it seem more edgy and more horrifying than it actually was. Like I said, I'm not sure. That's just my opinions. I do think they were exaggerating it, and let's be honest, why wouldn't they? But now, here comes the big questions. Why are they exaggerating it? Why are they doing all this? Frankly, I don't know. I don't know. I know that the Game of Thrones actress and uh, Elijah Woods, don't they have like successful acting careers? I'll be honest, I never heard of these two um, until I heard about all this Mar Marilyn Manson news. I've never heard any of any of these people. So are they doing it for attention? I mean, is it really worth the attention? Like Marilyn Manson is like 50 years old now. He's been in the game for like 30 years. He's not really, he's not really, um, the hottest new uh, musician anymore. You know, he's not like the baby or Saweetie or Megan Thee Stallion. Like, I just don't know if there's like that much attention. Well, I guess I'm talking about it. I guess like hundreds of articles have come out. So I guess there is still some attention on it. But still, it seems kind of weird. I don't know what the, I don't know what the end goal is. I do not know what the end goal is. And... That's what I've just been thinking of. Why are they doing this? For attention? For suing him? I don't know. Is he... I don't know. Maybe Marilyn Manson is like secretly like richer than most of these new bands and singers. I don't know. Maybe they're trying to get revenge on him. I don't know. Maybe they actually do think they were abused. Who knows? But that's just kind of my stance on it. I do think that they are exaggerating. But at the same time, I feel like there is some truth in it. And um, I guess I'm just kind of coming around. I don't think he's completely innocent, but I don't think he's guilty of all these horrifying things. I don't know. Some of those stories are just really bizarre and horrifying. Like Marilyn Manson was just running around chasing that one girl with an axe or something. <laughs> Crazy stuff. I mean, I, I don't know. Marilyn Manson loves cocaine, and cocaine will make you do some weird stuff. Maybe maybe he did do that. Maybe he did a little bit too much and just ran around the house and did all that stuff. Mm. But man, um, I'm, I'm 
mean, what else is there to say? I'm still waiting for the FBI to get back because remember, the FBI is supposed to be inv investigating Marilyn Manson. We haven't gotten any updates on that. Um, Marilyn Manson's getting sued, allegedly. Um, let's see where that goes, but man. Uh, There's just not that much to talk about. Um, but yeah, I guess my opinion has changed. So thank you everyone for showing me the Colonel Quartz videos. Um, I took your feedback, did my own research, uh, watched some other people's opinions, and yeah, the news articles definitely did not cover the whole story. So that's just my quick update. Thank you for watching. Peace.